Hi guys, welcome to episode 2 of Space Engineer's Diary of a Space Pirate. We're going to uh, we're going to forget about grinding that landing gear up. I'm just going to disassemble a few things. Do it this way, flight C. Not disassembling them. All the motors, all the computers, all that, all the displays, interior blank little grid, keep them, interior lights. How does it fit a flight seat in there? Disassembling a flight seat, but passenger seat. Didn't think passenger seat was a complete block item that you could fit in there. That's got to be a bug. Just pause while it saves itself. Where a minute ago, I swear a minute ago there were some fighters out there, and there was a mining hauler which I was about to attack. Hello. Yeah, so I don't know what happened to them. There was definitely a mining hauler out here. He's probably jumped out. Meteor storm inbound. Yes, thank you, dear. See, we could have done with that mining hauler. We really could have done. It's got ingots and all sorts of stuff the assembler can use. Ready made off the shelf ingots. That's what I need. We're not anywhere near ready to take on mine call yet. I better turn that bloody spotlight on. Yeah, so um, we're not going to build much of a base, but we're going to have to definitely find a bigger asteroid than this to do it. Because uh, yeah, this is uh, ridiculously small, much smaller than I thought it was. I know where there's a asteroid that is usable. Um, this big hollow one which would do for a little base of some sort. Save point already. No, just me lagging. Just gonna have to plant this down here. Yeah. yeah, that was not good. Maybe I should slow the doors down a bit. You know, I've never been a problem up to now, which is boom, you know, like, it's good if you're going to launch a drone or something, you want to whack the doors open, drop your drone, and then all torpedoes, as I've used before from there, fighters, and then as you fly away, a sensor detects it, shuts the door quickly, you know, boom, boom, out, and then you don't have loads of gunfire coming in through here, which was an issue once. Go back to the assembler and we'll see if we can uh, make ourselves a couple of these steel tubes without going out and taking the legs off. Got some invaders. Two thousand and closing fire. 
gosh. Yeah, I think they've dealt with the mining hauler and they're probably coming for us. We might have a bit of a fight on hands in a minute. Still need still wood, so to still claim. They'll probably be tearing through that window now. I'm going to take that window apart from the silicon. We need nickel ingots, iron ingots, magnesium. Sorry. Invader, invader, invader. Are they very close yet? Action stations, I think. They don't not pick up too large still tubes. the recording. I'm going to nip out, see what the settings are, I'll nip back in. I've got to unpause the recording after I reloaded for the change of game settings. Yeah, I had guns off in the world. So off camera, I finished the arc furnace. Just only needed like 50 odd steel plates which I made. Um, I moved the soup dragon to this asteroid a heck of a lot bigger. I'll show you where we are in relation. Whoa, hey, I can't die. 77% already. We came from just over there somewhere, just to the left of that asteroid, uh, that moon there, and that seems to be over there where all the cargo freighters and spawn points seem to be. And uh, yeah, we moved to this big asteroid. A hell of a lot better. It's got a huge entrance in it. A lot of you probably recognise it actually. It's I've been in here with my yellow ship when I've done a starter. It's absolutely hollow all the way through. With a nice big entrance. I don't think I can fit in there yet. On the journey I talked a load of crap about nothing. So you didn't miss much. I would have time speeded it up anyway like. I probably will do from now on. The mine core is still down there. Um, like the donut is kind of in between us. I can do. I can head to that, uh, and we can be a bit closer. We just need to find a point. I might do a bit of flying around on my jetpack later, and we'll see how far away these two asteroids. And a save point. Oh, come on, man. What a heck of a save point. Um, I'm going to see how far these asteroids are away. And see where we can put a relay antenna. So that we can fly some drones down there. Do a bit of spying. Seems like we're a bit further away than when we started. But, you know, this is where I'm going to build for a little while. Just check her over visually. I've got a feeling that 
some little bits of damage. I don't know what else has been damaged. But we can make steel plates now. We can do a bit of mining, like for iron and things. That should help the situation a little bit. With no magnesium, there's no way of making ammo, so we really got to watch what we spend now. Ammo is currency in this game. We've got all the resources we need here. We just need a little mining refinery ship. I mean, sure, one or two of you, probably most of you, have watched Milby and Co Star and the Minecraft crew doing their stuff. Well, we're going to do something slightly similar. I'm going to build a, like a, <laughs> a mini Jody. Yep. I'm going to build a little mini sort of um, contact feature in Jodie Foster and I'm going to bloody move this as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a block there. Maybe off camera, I don't know. I'm going to open this out, this will be our way in and out. And um, we can launch drones from this side torpedoes whatever and then I'm going to move that arc furnace so it actually faces this door so they all connect up nicely together that's what we want because we want it part of the conveyor system seriously or lag I don't know only have half a brain so uh, talking and doing stuff is a difficulty for me I've got extra plating on the f extra windows on the front of that I'm gonna take them off and oh yeah you turn the inertial dampers off There's a reactor. Turn it off for now. Because uranium's also critical. I think that was the damage we had earlier shutting the door. Give this one over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the connectors if I can find it as a way of collecting oil. The old top connector, I think the belly connector would be better maybe. Let's have a look at the profile. Then top guns there, if we can keep them out of the way, we should be fine. Yeah, I think we'll go for the belly, maybe. Don't know if I've got a connector down here. We can always take one out, I don't want to do that. We can take one out of somewhere else and move it. This got shot up at some point. We've got a connector here. But we've got no gravity in the back. Whatever we do has to be in the back. From about halfway down forward, she's got no gravity. Because it interfered with the grab cannon. And I've got all the parts in the grab cannon, but I don't want to chew that up just yet. There may be a purpose for that. So yeah, we'll go with the top, we'll just use the ship's gravity, we'll try and tuck up against the rock, or actually, you know, because of the close, close proximity, I can only dock a small ship here, but I want to build a tender. You know, the Jody Junior is going to be fairly big, it's going to have to have a refinery, a few small reactors, maybe four drills, five drills on the front and I'll try and make it remote control and yeah we're going to need to dock that to this 
So I'm going to take that out at some point and rip it up, put in a piston, and then we can extend it. And then we can spin around, tuck into the asteroid, and just use, put it on collect, and just use the ship's gravity to um, do all the work for us. A bit damned if I'm doing the Benny Hill music, just running around chasing little bits of rock. That is not the way I want to do things. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this episode in a bit. And um, I need more gyros on it. Yeah, so we need a little refinery and gyros. Next episode, I'm going to be in there and I'm going to build a probably a smallish station platform small reactor I might make a start off camera probably not I'll probably put it in as a speed build business shipment that would be interesting that's ideal but really let's get the foundations of the refinery down uh, before we go flying off looking for stuff because if I can get a refinery going we're home and dry but as it is we're kind of screwed this ship she might look impressive and you know, you might get the impression she's quite strong, but she ain't. She's a very light Corvette at best. Energy low. Yeah, all right then. Let's go sit in the bow bridge. That way, that way, that way. Yeah, she looks fairly strong, but she ain't. I mean, if I took her into battle right now, with insufficient ammo and... You know, it's going to be a disaster. I might survive the run against Minecore and two fully protected ships, but chances are I probably won't. So, um, yeah, I'll wrap it up for a bit, and then I'm going to manoeuvre into a decent position, and we're going to do a bit of do a bit of digging. I'll probably film it. I may put it in. I may not. So I want to try and keep. The first episode was kind of an introduction, half hour. The rest of these are going to be 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that. If it comes within like what I call striking distance, we'll go and get it. Because we could do with a business shipment. Seriously. Yeah, what I'm going to do is snug up. Just let the ore rain down onto that, I might build a little shield, I don't know. Like I said, I might do it off camera for a little bit. And yeah, when I come back, I'll build a platform, build a refinery, and then Christ, I'm going out and kick some ass. Because I'm looking forward to tearing into someone, I really am. I am looking forward to it, because we need it. So uh, anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. I'm Mike, and... Uh, Sorry about the pause on pause thing, but hopefully that won't happen again. And I'm promising you I've got parts on the way for the computer. Terabyte drive so I can do bigger renders, high definition, and more memory so I can actually run the whole thing a hell of a lot faster. Maybe a higher frame rate. So, And I might even get a new mic while I'm at it. So anyway guys, see you later. And uh, if you like, like. And if... Um, you want to see more subscribe and you know obviously the more likes more subscribers the more I'll do maybe other episodes of other stuff I've got a I've got a map of this from the other perspective where you play Minecore and you've got the pirate corvettes and fighters coming at you um, I put that up as um, under the invader mod so if you put invader mod base defense you should find it I'll probably post a, a link during this video and this one I'm planning to put up as uh, the Mine Core Sanction, which again will be tagged with the Invader mod. And then that should, when you load it up, it should have all the mods ready to go. You'll start off with the big green, or big blue green ship. You can repaint it, call it what you want. And then you're the pirate, you go and attack Mine Core. Try and do it in one hit, I'd like to see it. You know, actually take over and hack Mine Core. Take over all their systems and make it your own base with two other ships destroyed in one go. Meteor in fact, yeah, there you go, there's a challenge for you. <laughs> See you later, guys.